Hey everybody, I'm Trish Wachowski from FoldFactory.com and welcome to That's Foldtastic for Design TV. In this episode, we're going to be talking about high impact folding trick number five, visual tricks. Now, visual tricks aren't technically folding tricks per se. However, I love this trick because sometimes you can use imagery and maybe a simple technique or a simple folding style to create a lot of impact. So, you know, this is when you don't have a whole lot of money for lots of, you know, specialty folds or special effects and things. Sometimes you can just do something really engaging uh, and visual. So I've got some really neat samples to show you. I think you're going to like them. So this is one of the oldest pieces in my collection, but I always show it because it's a perfect example of how you can get somebody engaged using a visual. So. This is an old Verizon piece. Yes, phones do not look like this anymore, I know, but this is really neat. They did a little, it was a self-mailer, and they did a little short trim, short panel right here. And what they did was, you saw here the, the phone with the phone on the cradle, and um, this was a, a wafer sealed right here to close it. But then when you opened it, you just made somebody pick up the phone, and now the cradle is empty. So you've just gotten somebody to answer the phone, you know, they've picked it up with their hand in essence and gotten them involved in this piece. There's a little message in the voicemail window and everything and then the offers on the inside. So really simple folded format, simple trim here and an interesting visual to get somebody engaged. You know, if you see the phone like this, you're going to at least open it, right? And, and a lot of times that's half the battle when you're trying to get someone's attention is how do you get them to open the piece? So. Let's take another folded format. Accordion folds uh, also are a really nice format that lends itself easily to different visual tricks. Um, this is a piece by Lawton Printers in Florida for Orlando Museum of Art. And it's just a really simple little accordion fold, but what they did is when you pull down, this tree kind of grows. Just a fun little trick. Very simple little accordion fold, but a fun visual. You know, it's that you reveal. So it starts out as a little flower like this and then it grows into kind of a tree. So just very cute. You can do some really neat things with that. Here's another um, example. This is a series uh, by Creative Squall for FullColor.com and this is a three-part um, series of mail pieces um, that went in envelopes. But I just, I love this too. So their theme was, um, let me see, it was like never go unnoticed. So you'd have a photo on the front, but then when it opens, there's another side to the photo with something fun and interesting happening. So there's a little boy on the couch, and then when you open it up, his sister is sticking out her tongue at him. So just very cute. And they did three of these, and each one has a different, it's like a blowfish and a kid. You know, what's on the other side, right? You start with this series, and it's like, oh, I wonder what the next one is. And this is a guy standing, and then there's a guy on a little bike kind of whizzing by. So just very fun and again a standard three panel accordion fold. So really easy, great way to kind of you know use a simple technique and a visual and a simple folding style. So here's a couple other uh, kind of found samples that use imagery to do something interesting. This is a Sony piece, it was a self mailer. They did a short trim on the cover. It's a little four panel piece, but they did a little short trim here. And um, the text says, stay in the picture. So they did a really odd crop on the photo and there's an empty chair in the middle. And it really just makes you want to open it, right? I mean, you kind of have to see. And, and really, when I first opened it, I thought, is there another part of the photo? Is there something else? And, you know, they could have had a different photo here revealed. They ended up doing something up here. But there's a, a, a little bit of a surprise factor and a curiosity factor that happens when you do something really unexpected with the visual. This piece is for uh, Carroll Hospital Center. This was another found piece, a self-mailer. Um, and they have this lady here with the, holding a message. And then when you fold it down, the message changes. So you just kind of hold your eye right there and then the message changes here. And since it's at the top, you know, that's a real kind of a strong visual because that's where you're going to start reading and moving down. Here's another piece 
Um, this was for uh, American Express, and this is a gatefold. Now, I will say before I open this one, I don't think they did as much with the visual that they probably could have, but I like showing this one because I think it has potential, so that's why I'm showing it. Um, it's a bed. It says, is it business or is it pleasure? And this is a, a gatefold in the middle. There's some overlap here, which you can do with gatefolds. Um, and it was glued like this. So nothing really changes from a visual perspective. I mean, I kind of expected this to open and something to change over here. I think they could have done more from a conceptual perspective, but I wanted to show it because here's a, you know, a different folding style. This is a, a self mailer again, and you know, you could do something neat with a reveal using a gatefold as well. And so they chose a big visual and they broke the two pillows right down the middle. You know, so had some potential, and I think maybe, you know, everybody out there in the audience might be able to do something quite interesting with it. Now I have one more. Um, this is from uh, SPC in Chicago. This is a little bit more sophisticated, but I absolutely love this piece. Um, this was for Barnes and Noble. It's a Nook, uh, a mailer for the Nook, and this is so neat. So there's a metallic um, ink on the cover. A little bit hard to see. I'm going to hold it up for you. If you look close, you'll see that there are little circular dies, little die cuts that are in circles. And inside the circles, you can see a little bit of what's below, and it's some sort of an interesting colored image down below. So you're seeing the silver, but you're seeing these little holes, and you're trying to decipher what it is, but you have no idea what it is, right? And so it kind of forces you to open it. So a really neat visual trick by giving you a peekaboo and then you open it up and you figure out that it's this color nook and um, you know they also just did some really nice things with with visuals gave you a lot of air to breathe you know visually you could really kind of soak in the image and then get into the offer and the and the twenty five dollars off offer that's on the inside so this was glued and um, this was done entirely in line but uh, die cut and just a really neat way to use a visual trick, a little bit more sophisticated, but to really create curiosity. So, exciting stuff, very interesting. So you can start to think about all the different ways you could use visuals, not necessarily totally complex folding styles. Sometimes it's a combination of a simple fold, a unique visual trick, lots of different ways uh, to get a lot of bang for your buck. So, that is high impact folding trick number five, visual tricks. Uh, I hope you enjoyed, and uh, thanks for watching. That's Foldtastic. Please visit foldfactory.com for more ideas and inspiration, and to sign up for my 60-second super cool fold of the week. I'll see you next time. Bye.